Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to discuss the platelet disorders in the pregnancy and this uh, topic has been taken from evidence-based textbook of um, obstetric and gynecology. Okay, so let us discuss the uh, some introduction of this uh, thrombocytopenia in pregnancy. In fact, platelets are uh, formed from megakaryocytes. Okay, megakaryocytes are large multinucleate cells which are formed in the bone marrow and their differentiation and proliferation is under the control of thrombopoietin. Okay, now another thing is that each megakaryocyte can generate up to 200, uh, 2000 to 3,000 platelets. And thrombocytopenia in pregnancy is relatively common and there are number of possible causes. Platelet function disorders are less common but they do occur in pregnancy. Okay, so number of possible causes. 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 Number of possible causes.
okay so we have to remember this trigger and around the time of the delivery the platelet count needs to be raised to the threshold to ensure the minimal hemorrhagic complications and there should be close collaboration of the obstetrician the hematology hematologist and obstetric anesthetist and a platelet count of more than 50 cross standards for 9 is acceptable for the vaginal delivery for cesarean section however while there is no evidence based it is recommended that platelet count of more than 75 cross standards for 9 for the spinal anesthesia that is very important okay now coming toward the role of corticosteroid because the first line the treatment of ITP in pregnancy is corticosteroid Okay, first line treatment of uh, um, ITP in pregnancy is corticosteroid, which um, uh, achieves the good response in 70 to 80 percent of the women. And side effects includes the increased risk of the gestational diabetes. Pregnancy includes hypertension. Okay, means uh, um, GDM and PIH can uh, occur as a result of corticosteroid, and also the postpartum psychiatric disorders. Okay, this is very important that steroid can cause the postpartum psychiatric disorders as well. Corticosteroid steroids are although not teratogenic but may be associated with a premature rupture of the membrane and placental abruption as well okay to avoid unnecessary adverse effect the minimal therapeutic dose po possible should be used with the dose escalation if the response is poor an appropriate starting dose of the prednisolone is 20 milligram per day okay and for refractory cases or where there is a rapid increase in the platelet count is required and intravenous immunoglobulin can be given and women um, whose report uh, who often report Reports headache and some serious complications such as uh, aseptic meningitis and venial impairments have uh, been known. Although the vigorous uh, viral uh, safety measures are ensured, women should be counseled about the use of the blood products. The rise in the platelets last around six weeks, but this uh, can become shorter in the, as the pregnancy advances and the cost is high and the mm, shortage of the supply not infrequent. Okay. Now, there are some uh, experience of the using anti-D, but higher doses are needed than in the prevention of the rhesus D um, as aluminization. And there is a concern about the theoretical risk of the fetal hemolysis as well. It doesn't appear to add any advantage over the immunoglobulin, except perhaps the lower volume. Now, as a thioprene appears to be safe in pregnancy, Teratology Information Services has shown this and can be helpful for persistent or refractory diseases. However, full effect takes three months, limiting its use if starting late in the gestation. Now, platelet transfusions are reserved for the emergency bleeding or for the delivery of the woman with the plate discount of less than 50 cross is power 9 and the response is brief due to clearance by the circulating antibodies. Now coming to the transplacental transfer, okay, transplacental transfer of the maternal antiplatelet antibodies may cause thrombocytopenia in infant, and the incidence is around 25%. However, so th thrombocytopenia is uncommon. Approximately 15% of the neonates will have platelets count of less than 100, less than 10% will have platelets count of less than uh, 50 cross turns per 9, and the incidence of the neonatal intracranial hemorrhage or other hemorrhagic complication is less than 1%. And there are no reliable factors that predict the risk uh, to the baby and other than the occurrence in the other uh, older sibling where the uh, ability for transplacental passage of the antibody has clearly been demonstrated and other alarm bells or the history of splenectomy and the severe or refractory ITP. Now let us discuss some role of the cordocentesis. Cordocentesis is not recommended as the risk outweigh the benefit given the random platelet transfused will be rapidly destroyed by the antibody in contrast to the future alloimmune thrombocytopenia where compatible platelets can be used and the mode of the delivery should be determined by obstetric indications. However, to minimize the trauma, fetal scalp electrodes, blood sampling and the use of the ventos or rotation forceps should be avoided. And lift up forceps can be used as well. And a cord blood uh, count should be taken and draw muscular vitamin K with hold, uh, with held until the count is known or given orally. A count of less than 70 cross standards per 9 resuscitate a repeat sample uh, at day 5 when the nidus is uh, raised due to splenic development. Babies with a platelet count of less than 30 cross standards per 9 requires platelet transfusion and intracranial ultrasound should be performed in such case. Okay, now management of ITP in pregnancy. 
ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഡി പി ഇൻ ദ പ്രഗ്നൻസി ഷുഡ് ബി മാനേജ് ഇൻ കൊളബറേഷൻ വിത്ത് അബ്സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് അബ്സ്റ്റാറ്റീഷ്യൻ ഹെമറ്റോളജിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് എനസ്തിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഡിസയർഡ് പ്ലേറ്റ്ലെസ് കൗണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് ട്രൈമെസ്റ്റർ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഷുഡ് ഓൺലി ബി റിക്വയർഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് കൗണ്ട് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദൻ ട്വന്റി ക്രോസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ ഓർ ഇഫ് ദ പേഷ്യൻ സിംറ്റമാറ്റിക് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് വീസ് ഓൺവേർഡ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് റിക്വയർ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് റിക്വയർ ഇഫ് പ്ലേറ്റ് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്രോസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വിജയൻ ഡെലിവറി ഇഫ് ദി പ്ലേറ്റ്ലെറ്റ് കൗണ്ട് പ്ലേറ്റ്ലെറ്റ് കൗണ്ട് ഇസ് മോർ ദൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്രോസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ സീരിയൻ സെക്ഷൻ പ്ലേറ്റ് കൗണ്ട് ഇസ് മോർ ദൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ക്രോസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ സ്പൈനൽ എസ് ദീസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലേറ്റ് കൗണ്ട് ഇസ് മോർ ദൻ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ക്രോസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ദീസ് ഡിസയർഡ് ലെവൽസ് ഓക്കെ നോ മെറ്റർ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് സ്ട്രാറ്റജീസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ലൈൻ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് കോർട്ടിക്കോസ്ട്രോയിഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് ലൈൻ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഇൻട്രോമിനസ് മിനോഗ്ലോബിൻ എമർജൻസി റാപ്പിഡ് റെസ്പോൺസ് ഇസ് റിക്വയർഡ് പ്ലേറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫ്യൂൻ പ്ലസ് വൻ എമർജൻസി റാപ്പിഡ് റെസ്പോൺസ് റിസ്ക്വയർ ദൻ വി നീഡ് ടു ട്രാൻസ്ഫ്യൂസ് പ്ലേറ്റ് പ്ലസ് ബി മിനോഗ്ലോബിൻ പ്ലസ് ആർ ബി മിഥാൽ പ്രഡ്നെസ് ഹൗ വി ഹൗ വിൽ ബി മാനേജ് ദ ഫീറ്റസ് ഓക്കെ റൊട്ടീൻ കോർഡോസെൻറ്റീസിസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് റിക്കമെൻഡ് അവോയ്ഡ് ഫീറ്റസ് സ്കാൾ സാമ്പിളിംഗ് അവോയ്ഡ് വെൻറ്റോസ് ആൻഡ് റൊട്ടേഷൻ ഫോർ സാപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ചെക്ക് ഫുൾ ബ്ലഡ് കൗണ്ട് ഫ്രോം ദ കോഡ് സാമ്പിൾ ഇൻട്രോക്ലി ക്രീനിയൽ ഡോബ്ലർ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂ ഡേസ് ഇഫ് പ്ലേറ്റ് കൗണ്ട് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദൻ തേർട്ടി ക്ലാസ് ടെൻ ഇസ് പവർ നൈൻ now let us discuss the key point of ttp in the pregnancy okay clinical points are that a typical pantheid of the fever renal impairment neurological symptoms thrombocytopenia and microangiopathic hemolytic anemias are present and may be difficult to distinguish from preeclampsia and help and obstetric emergency uh, takes place up to 90% of the mortality um, is there there is a risk of 90% mortality if left untreated okay what investigation would we recommend in case of the ttp full blood count and fill which includes histocytes, fragments, polychromasium, uh, which shows the thrombocytopenia, urea and electrolyte and LFTs, okay, increase bilirubin, LDH is increased, reticulocytes are increased, hepato, um, heptoglobulin is decreased. Clot, uh, okay, clotting will be normal in TTP. Okay, the direct antiglobulin test that will be negative in TTP. Now, Adam TS-13 level and Adam TS-13 antibody level may be low in help, but uh, with a no antibody detect. Now, coming toward the management, okay, contact hematologist, how would we do uh, immediate management? Start at the end of the solvent treated FFPs in the third trimester, consider delivery of the baby, and arrange for the urgent plasma extract. Start IV methylprednisol on three days and then switch to oral corticosteroid. Continuing treatment includes the folic acid, 500, 5mg once daily, start aspirin and loma. molecular rate when platelet counts are more than 50 and continue plasma exchange until platelet count is done. If the fetus is not delivered immediately, serial growth scans with the uterine artery dobblers are recommended. Okay. Now, in the future, wonder about the risk of the recurrence in the future pregnancy and a white oral contraceptive pulse. Okay. This is the figure showing TGP, schistocytes, recessive treatment, polychromasia and spherocytes. Okay. Now, coming toward the pre-eclampsia and help. Okay. Consumptive thrombocytopenia occurs in around 30% of the women with preeclampsia and may perceive other signs and symptoms. Help is in combination of thrombocytopenia with microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and elevated liver enzyme and these disorders are discussed in other chapters. Okay. Now, CTP, thrombotic thrombocytopenia purpura. Okay, this is relatively rare but important cause of thrombocytopenia pregnancy as it carries a high risk, high risk of mortality and morbidity which can be avoided if the treatment is started early and it is identified by the combination of microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and thrombocytopenia usually accompanied by the neurological symptoms and time the fever. Renal impairments can also occur in acute setting. TTP can be difficult to distinguish from the severe pre and help and like other disorders the main therapeutic maneuver is to deliver them. Now about the pathophysiology it is written that TTP is caused by reduced level of Adam's TS30 uh, level a uh, dysthingrin and metalloprotein with the thrombo thrombospondin type 1 motif membrane 13 a metalloprotease required for the cleavage of the ultra large von willebrand factor uh, multimers this leads to formation of platelet segregates in the microvasculature leading to the tissue ischemia and sometimes infarction and this process particularly affects the lung and the renal and the cerebral vasculature and most of the cases are required with an uh, autoimmune antibody to adam ts13 however some cases are familial and may presents for the first time in pregnancy
Okay, TTP. The mortality rate of untreated TTP is 80%, which reduces to around 10% with the plasma exchange with intracranial and cardiac event being the main, main cause of the death. And a high index of suspicion is crucial to ensure the rapid diagnosis and treatment if any doubt remains regarding the diagnosis and Adam's TS level should be taken and plasma exchange initiated until the diagnosis can be definitely confirmed and refuted. Okay. If there is likely to be delay in starting plasma exchange, solvent treated fresh frozen plasma should be infused to provide the missing protease. Okay, this is something about fresh frozen plasma. Plasma exchange needs to continue daily in addition to corticosteroid, folic acid supplements are necessary to support erythropoiesis and thrombin prophylaxis with low molecular weight heparin and aspirin should be started as soon as the platelet count is more than 50 cross per 9 and serial growth scans with uterine artery dopplers will be required to monitor placenta function and fetus should be delivered as early as possible. Okay, recovery after delivery of the baby is not necessarily prompt and repeated plasma exchange are necessary until the prime platelet count normalizes women should be counseled about the risk of the recurrence in future pregnancy and should be advised to avoid the oral contraceptive pills. Now, platelet function disorder. Congenital platelet function disorder reflects the inability of the platelets to aggregate under the normal conditions or defective release of the platelet's granules constitutes. Preconception counseling is necessary to explain the risk of the inheritance where there are none and the management for the pregnancy. The clinical picture in these disorders is very variable, ranging from the asymptomatic mild mucosal type of the bleeding to the severe bleeding phenotype. The description of the individual disorder is beyond the scope of this chapter. Okay, and desmopressin is usually the agent of the choice as these are heritable conditions. Care should be taken in the delivery of the baby. Okay, so this, this is something about the thrombocytopenia in pregnancy. Thank you so much for your patience.